Okay guys, now we're going to learn how to do uh, the chains on that troll blood. That is a pirate troll from Privateer Press, by the way. We've been working with that one before. Um, we're going to do all those little uh, metal straps. Uh, I know trolls like stone, but these seem like uh, copper or, or tin or or some kind of, uh, of metal that will be a little rusted. And we'll, we'll do the chains at the same time. So, yes, fine. let's find some room on that palette. I'm going to use... Um, I'm going to use tinny tin. That's sort of tinny, coppery, dark color in metal. Here, and I'm going to use bolt gun metal as well. Bolt gun metal is always, always nice for iron and that sort of thing. Here, I'm going to use that for the chains. <coughs> this is going to be pretty straightforward. I'm going to use a uh, number zero brush so as not to mess up the work I've already done on the skin. And I'm going to start with the tin color. I'm washing these plates a little. That's sort of a base coat. You can still see plenty of the prime priming coat underneath. This, just, this, this will just get uh, a little shine going. And this is, yes, this is coloring quite nicely. Quite nice indeed. This is a pirate troll, so he has metal stripes, metal uh, slivers in lieu of pants, apparently. An interesting loincloth, probably because stone is a bit heavy, and also probably because the usual loincloth of the troll blood isn't fireproof. See how that goes. Thirty. There is this in the back. Yeah. Now, this is. I mean, we could leave it at that. This is. Uh, we could color it, uh, we could go over it with another coat, but we don't need to as we want some kind of dirty metal effect that has been blackened somewhat. I think we'll use, even better, we'll use a mix of that lovely bloodstone color that we used for the spikes, by the way, and a bit of that blue, the troll blood base blue, and that mix here, bloodstone and blue, that mix is going to do us a fine color for a thin wash here and there in selective places as, I said selective places, not all over the place, <coughs> thank you, as uh, this tends to be uh, more oxidized, you see, that's what, that's uh, some sort of a verdigris, that copper 
often does or that sort of thing so we're going to have a little bit of a degree right here in uh, in stripes here and there somewhat you see as it's an old oxidized tin and it also harmonizes the miniature as these are colors we used for the flesh tones I think a little more is in order here. Yes, very much so. And now we're going to paint with bolt gun metal all those little chains that are holding this guy's loincloth and uh, all the little chains around his arms. Just going over them quite quickly. Being careful not to paint over what we've already done. But that's pretty easy. There, chains here. That all plunges down there in the recesses. It's all pretty much already shaded because we've uh, we've primed the miniature in my very special way. But nevertheless, it needs going over a bit. So, yeah. He has chains going around all his fists. That's pretty impressive. Then again, he's a pretty impressive creature. The chains are a little oxidized, so I will use bloodstone, pure bloodstone here, because it's quite interesting, quite an interesting color for rust as well. So this is a bit rusty. Just, just a tad. I mean, we don't need very much. We need to do this like that. Perhaps a little rust here, not too much. I mean, we don't need to overdo it. Here on this side. That's basically how to do metal, oxidized metal, old metal, non, non of the non-precious kind, you see, there. And perhaps we'll do a little black wash. We'll get some black, flat black on my palette. So that we can shade what we need to shade for the metals. The metals I like to shade in black even if I haven't used it much for the rest of the miniature. It always gives a 
nice effect. Shading really well underneath there. Yeah, underneath there where it's supposed to be. There's supposed to be a shadow. And here, those chains need a little shadow as well. We are shading it in black. There, right behind here. That's what's going on. Here, let's shade it black. just goes into the creases it's a very slight wash but essential nonetheless and here we go with the black there here on the chains mainly that's that's quite enough <clears throat> That's how you do the metal that you see here, his loincloth, and uh, on the other side as well. It's still a little, a little shiny. I think I'll highlight it a little with the tinny tin color here. Just washing it uh, a little bit, like so. That's two. Give it a little more shine. Just in selected places, we're highlighting it that way. Here and there and everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but still here and there and everywhere, just like the gummy bears. There, beautiful. Now, off to the next tutorial. Hee <laughs> hee.